Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here. Today I'm bringing you episode 1 of my FIFA 17 rating predictions. We're going to kick it off with the club I support, Manchester United. And uh, a lot of the players in the video will have upgrades. I, actually, I think every single one of them does. But that's purely because I've picked our new signings who have had incredible seasons and the players that have had incredible seasons at us. I'll do a part 2 for Manchester United and that will contain most if not all downgrades because obviously we finished fifth it wasn't the greatest but a lot of the players well every single one of these players in my opinion deserves upgrades and uh, I think you'll agree even if you're a rival fan uh, when you see the players that I've got here but anyway new signing Zlatan Ibrahimovic is going to kick this off and uh, he scored 52 goals in 56 appearances this is international and club he also got 16 assists in total that is incredible that is phenomenal for a 33 at the time now he's 34 year old to have done that yes it's league one but that's his statistically best season ever and that is exceptional and even FIFA with their stupid age restriction laws can't give Zlatan a downgrade it just doesn't make sense he's 34 yes but he's had his statistically best season and no player that's had a stupid downgrade because of age has ever had 50 goals in a season before on FIFA so you know he deserves that 90 upgrade to be honest it deserves to be 91 52 goals in all competitions that is ludicrous 38 in league one i think it was 13 in the champions league just sensational and uh, yeah he deserves to be at least a 90 and hopefully ea do that but of course they'll probably do the age thing and keep him the same or downgrade him but anyway next player we've got henrik mkhitaryan who had a phenomenal season by the way didn't mention ibrahimovic was the players player of the year in league one basically Every single player in League One votes, and Zlatan got the most votes, so he won the players' play of the year. So it was voted by his peers, not the fans, not the journalists. And that's the same with Henrik Mkhitaryan. He won the players' player of the year in the Bundesliga. In 50 appearances, he got 21 goals and 20 assists. That includes international as well as club level. And yeah, he was just phenomenal. Very, very influential in Dortmund, finishing second. Uh, I think it was five or six points behind Bayern Munich. But nevertheless, he got a January upgrade from an 81 to an 83. And I think he'll get that upgrade again. I didn't go through Zlatan's stats, um, but you saw from the card, I downgraded his pace because of age, but I increased everything else. With Mkhitaryan, I've increased absolutely everything. He scored 21 goals, as I say, so I've increased his shooting by 5 because I, I think he deserves 80 shooting. Passing, I've, I've increased by 6 because he got 21 assists. One of the top assisters across the uh, top 5 leagues. So, uh, yeah, I have minor upgrades for everything else. But, yeah, I think he deserves that 85 rating. And uh, I think this time FIFA will definitely give him it. Next, we've got our third and final size signing so far. And that is Eric Bailey. 77 rated. I believe he got a, a 5 upgrade from a 72 rated card. And, uh, yeah, he had 37 appearances for Villarreal last season. He averaged 1.7 tackles per game, 2.4 interceptions and 1.4 aerial duels won so he had a phenomenal season for Villarreal it's really hard judging a defender statistically you have to watch them and Spanish experts have agreed that Bailey was one of the better defenders in La Liga last season he's young he's got a lot of potential so I'm just going to upgrade him by two I reckon he, he's got that he's got explosive pace he's got decent defending decent physical so I've put them all 80 well obviously physical is 81 I've upgraded that by one but I think that's fair and I think that's an uh, accurate card for FIFA 17. Next we've got Anthony Martial, the player that was dubbed a flop as soon as he joined purely because we spent 38 million on him and I am so glad we did. 57 appearances, 17 goals, 5 assists, might not seem great but the competition in the Premier League was a lot more fierce and that was pretty good especially when we were lacking creative opportunities as a team like everyone knows how many nil nils we had it was just boring football under van hal but marcel somehow excelled and yeah that is phenomenal and i know i've gave him a ridiculous upgrade but i truly believe he deserves this fifa will probably give him an 81 and 82 but i reckon 83 is justified yes a little bit of bias may be coming in here because i'm a man united fan but to be honest i think he he deserves it he's just going to get better especially with zlatan 
and um, Mkhitaryan joining the club. He was phenomenal for us. He was our best outfield player by a mile, our top scorer, and he would have won players player of the season if it wasn't for David De Gea in net. So yeah, I've upgraded his stats. He's rapid, 90 pace minimum. He's very, very quick and he's young, athletic, so I don't see the problem with giving him that. I've upgraded his dribbling. Look at the goal he scored against Liverpool. That highlights how good his dribbling is. There's countless other times when he's done things like that, so I've put that 85. Gave him 80 shooting. He was our top scorer, so upgraded shooting by three. Fair enough, in my opinion. Passing, I've upgraded by five. Maybe that's a little bit too high, but I think 70 is justified. 65, I mean, passing is not really going to be one of his main stats anyway, so I don't think too many people are bothered. I've kept his physical the same, upgraded his defender very slightly, purely to accommodate for the ludicrous upgrade I've gave him. I know it's a four, and he already had a two upgrade in January, but... We'll see what happens. That's what I think he should be anyway. Next, we've got Rashford, who obviously does not have a card on FIFA 16 Ultimate Team, but he burst into the scene four or five months. He's been playing for us 21 appearances. This is club and country. Every single player is club and country, just uh, so you understand that. 21 apps in all competitions, nine goals, two assists. He scored two on his debut, he scored two on his debut in the Premier League against Arsenal, he scored in his England debut, he scored in his first Manchester derby. You know, this guy was just absolutely exceptional. Now, I think what he'll do, he'll, he'll bring him to the highest possible silver rating, 74, and then if he still maintains his form into the start of next season, then in January he'll get a big upgrade but for now i reckon that's justified he's very very pacey so 90 pace the same as martial in my opinion 80 dribbling he's got great dribbling 78 shooting i think that's fair especially for a high-end silver silver card who uh, burst onto the scene like that and scored four in his first two games but um yeah i, I think that's a relatively good card um and a fair one for rashford but we'll see what happens Next, we've got Chris Smalling, who again was absolutely phenomenal for us all season. He got a three upgrade in January from a 79 to an 82, and I reckon he'll get another further one upgrade to an 83, making him, well, 83 rated. But he played 59 appearances for us, which I think is every single game. I could be wrong, there could be one that he missed, but I think he near enough played every single game last season. 1.6 tackles per game on average, 2.7 interceptions, and 3.8 aerial duels. He was a rock, and he was uh, definitely, definitely amazing at the heart of our defence, and certainly one of our better outfield players. I've basically just increased his stats minimalistically, but uh, I think it's justified, and yeah, I don't think too many arguments about that in the comments section below. And now the final player this season is our players player of the season. He's also player of the season. He was in team of the season. I mean, there's so many fucking teams and players and awards and everything, but everyone knows he was in team of the season for the Premier League. He was our player of the season for the third time in a row. And yes, two upgrade I've gave him. He already got a January upgrade from an 85, was it? Um, did he even get a January upgrade? No, he didn't, did he? No, I think it was 86 from the start, so that's incorrect. But anyway, I've uh, bumped him up to an 88. To be honest, I think it could be higher, but knowing he, it'll just be an 88. And uh, he was just exceptional. Save after save. I could bang out the goalkeeper statistics, but they're very misleading. To be honest, so are the defender ones. You have to watch these sort of players to understand them. And David De Gea won save of the season, was in team of the season. He was just the best goalkeeper in the Premier League. And in my opinion, is now the best goalkeeper in the world. He just needs to maybe focus a bit more on his positioning. I've upped that by one. Everything else I've upped by, I think, two at least, uh, apart from kicking as well. And uh, yeah, his diving and his reflexes are his best attributes. He's absolutely phenomenal on 1v1s um, and making super saves, so dives. And uh, yeah, I think that's justified. But let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think I'm being too um, kind? I suppose a lot of people will probably disagree with my Martial one. But we'll see what happens. He could even be the FIFA cover star. Which doesn't say much, to be honest, since Jordan Henderson was last season. But anyway, hopefully I've enjoyed. Let me know what club you want me to do after Manchester United. Or if you just want me to do new transfers. Because obviously that's where most of the hype comes from on FIFA. For the next FIFA anyway. So hopefully I've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.